Yes! Taking a club. Let's go. Ah, oh, Hugh, you intimidated. Come on, just get him out of your head. I'll take your putter. If I win, can I have the West of Ireland trophy? Come on! Hi guys, welcome to series two of Battle Golf from Carton House. Battle Golf is a series where Johnny and I take on one of Ireland's elite amateurs or pros in a nine hole match. The twist in the match is if you lose a hole, you lose a club. In this episode, Johnny's taking on Hugh Foley, current West of Ireland champion and current Irish panel member. Hugh has been on top form this season, narrowly missing out in Spanish amateur this year and a good showing in the West of Ireland. He's playing Johnny. Johnny is trying to avenge his defeat in round one of season two of Battle Golf to Paul McBride. So let's see what the guys have to say. Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Battle Golf. And as you can see, I am joined by Hugh Foley, the current West of Ireland champion. Hugh, you are just back from the Spanish Amateur Championship where you got knocked out in the quarterfinals. Yeah. Um, it is a, a slightly, slightly wet day here at Carton House. The exact same conditions as, uh, yeah. as Spain, I can imagine. Yeah, placing everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good, yeah, yeah. really energised. I was wrecked I'm coming back from it. I had three weeks over there okay. and uh, obviously uh, tough last week, but it was good golf and uh, came really close. And it was one of them matches kind of you felt maybe one of us might go on to win. Because you went down to the 20th hole. 20th hole. And then it came to just like a, like you both chipping from more or less the same position and yeah, we he, both, he made the putt and yeah, you just Yeah, good wedges and he hit it closer and I missed and he made. It was simple enough. But, yeah, uh, that's... Yeah, it's just the, the standard when you get to them events is you just have to make birdies really to, to win matches and you can't get away with anything. Well, I can tell you the standard for the match today, pars or even bogeys will, will do it for you today. <laughs> uh, have you played a battle golf before? Yeah, I've played it once, I think. Okay, so you know the rules. The rules are match play, but if we half a hole, the next hole's worth two clubs. Right. Right, okay. Perfect. How many shots am I getting? We're having a chat about this. You're playing off plus six now. I'm playing off six. So there's 12 shots in the difference here. It's a nine hole match. I think a, a split right down the middle, six shots is fair. I'm, right. not, I'm not playing my best today either. Okay, we'll see. Six shots. Six shots is fair enough. Okay, well listen. Uh, you are obviously the West of Ireland champion, so I'm going to let you tee off first. Play well. Play well. <laughs> Very cordial from the two gentlemen as you take off on the Oh my god! at Carton House on the Amira course. Johnny sounds impressed. That, and is so that should just be. shy? You know, Johnny on the 10th. Trying to avenge his defeat to Paul McBride in episode 1. Looks like Dead he's enough. off to a good start. Yeah, that's alright. First hole against you. I have six shots, so I have a shot in this hole. Um, as you can see, he's in the greenside bunker off the tee. So I'm. I think I got a little bit in my head in my match against Paul. So we just need to uh, need to try and play within myself and just. I got six shots. Make him count and just middle of the greens as much as possible and make him have to shoot something good. Which I mean, he's plus six. He's going to shoot something good. It's a good job. Johnny isn't overthinking these shots here as he plays in the left hand rough. Slightly clingy lie. A little bit damp today, but the course isn't great, Nick. And he's hit a lovely shot. Pins back right. And he's just beyond pin high. Very happy with that. What do you got? Yardage and club? Um, I'm not sure about the yardage. Uh, he's just eyeballing it. I love the confidence. Look at this guy. It, yeah. <laughs> it's too cold to get the laser out. Um, <laughs> that looks to me like 70 yards. I kind of like guessing um, and feeling it before actually getting a number, but I have a 56. I'm hoping it releases a bit. All right, let's see it. Inside your ball. Getting hustled already. Oh, hustled might be a strong word. Conditions are a little bit sticky here. Not like Sada Grande last week, as Hugh, after an enormous drive, 395 on the hole, and he's played 60 yards in. That drive was 335 yards. Could be losing this putter after this hole. So you first to go. Have to give it a go. From 30 odd feet. He won't be happy with that wedge in. <laughs> Have to give it a go. And he's cozied it up to probably give me distance. Johnny now from the fringe. This is to take a club and the hole. Oh. Wow. See what we're doing here? We're just wasting time. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just right wasting that. time. <laughs> I will be taking that putter off your hands. Well, can put I it, give put it to it you? In, yeah, you can put it in your, put, keep it in your bag, but okay. it's out. Yes! Taking a club. Let's go. One up. 
this is unbelievable. Johnny had a shot on 10, which means that he has actually gone one up in the match and crucially taken Hughes putter off him early. Uphill on 11 on the Amira course, and he's played it beautifully over the right hand bunker. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. Hugh now. This is unbelievable. His repost. He has gone. Hugh Great is sneaky drive. long oh with that God. drive. Get right. <laughs> that is massive. <laughs> that was a. Uh, Great shot. Nicely worked, Fade. Uh, second hole, second shot. I got 105 yards to the flag. Um, I'm not getting into an arms race with Hugh again. It's just look at where he is. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So it's just got to be irons. It's got. I got to. I got to be hitting the approach shots in tight. Which, if you've seen the previous video, I haven't been doing. So it's a miracle we're one up here. So Johnny is one up, wedge in hand. Hopefully, go close here, and try and assert his advantage. Go. He stitched it. Go. Yeah. Good shot. Thank you. That was just lucky. Johnny says he was lucky. Ah, oh, Hugh, you intimidated. I'm looking, I'm not looking at your ball. How can you look at the flag and not look at the ball? They're so close to each other. <laughs> Come on, just <laughs> get him out of your head. Hugh now, after another enormous drive, is left with just a simple wedge in. Oh, I pulled it. It's good distance. Yeah. All relative, Hugh, he pulled it to 10 feet. Johnny to put first. Stay up. Oh. Oh. You have, to, you have to give me a chance of making a putt. That's, <laughs> that's good. I'll give you that one. Thank you very much. Johnny in for four. So you got this to half. Hugh with a birdie putt. Johnny has a shot here, remember. Hugh doesn't have a putter. As Johnny said, does, this game does not work when the pro wins early. Or in this case, the elite amateur. And Johnny has taken the club and Hugh has missed, so he is two down. Look, he goes two down. And with that, so goes the driver. Right, lovely. I'm known for my two iron anyway, so. So that's massive. Hugh has lost driver and putter. Johnny is two up in the match. So his advantage off the tee is Ooh. gone. Every match there is a little, there's a moment that even Johnny McCann slips up. <laughs> even Johnny McCann. Hugh now with his two iron. Up the left side, this slopes yeah. from left to right. Thank you. Up by the beautiful castle on the left hand side, as you can see. Right at the top of the hill in Carton House on the Amira course. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hugh now with Wedge again. After hitting two iron in, he has punched one in low against the wind there. Oh, great shot. For goodness sake, we're not going to be two up for long. 20 foot short, Johnny just chipping from the left hand side. Ooh, and that is that bad. That's spicy, and that runs away from the pin there. That's not close. <laughs> Hugh now still putting with a lobber. That's such a good stroke. <laughs> uh, that, that's good, yeah. Johnny now, four par. No, not going to get there. Oh, closer than he thought. Oh, it was straight in. <laughs> oh, I knew it wasn't going to get there. Oh, crap. Okay, what's, right. what's going? I think I'll take I'll take your putter. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The known weakness of the bogeyman guys taking putter always puts us at a disadvantage. Hugh now with three wood down the hill to short par four. Oh. oh. That is not a nice bounce. Bad bounce. Johnny still has driver in the bag. He's just lost his putter, but he is one up. That's fine. That looks okay, and it is okay. Johnny with a simple short flick of a wedge in. Remember, he's no putter, so it's a huge advantage if he goes close here. Oh, which he has duly done. That pitched hold high. Tough for a second that had a chance. And a Hugh at wedge. Oh, it came out. Sit. Got a flyer out of there. And that looks like it's trundled onto the back not edge. Good. Remember, neither have putter in the bag. It's not good. Oh, on we go. You now from the back edge, playing with a little bit more loft. That's gimme distance. No need for putter there. Johnny now right. with his 
wedge, a slightly stabby stroke. Nice. But he has a par. I'll give you that. You give me that? Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly, Johnny didn't give that, and it's proof. Oh. Faithful that he hasn't. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Two down. Two down. Another club to be lost by you. I'm going to take a three wood. And he's gone with three wood. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. Three wood cost me that hole. I'll give you the three wood. Johnny's targeted this top in the Hughes bag there, so it's putter, three wood, driver gone at the Hughes John, bag. Johnny's lost his putter, but he's two up, crucially, on the short part three. Across the river. Ah, uh, pulled it. Distance was good, just pulled it. Got an interesting bunker shot now, though. Johnny from the will be in the greenside bunker, so Hugh has a chance here to go close. Yeah. He's short left, so slightly longer put yeah. than he would have hoped. Johnny from the greenside bunker. Remember, he doesn't have the putter. Getting close will be key here. It's quite nicely played. It's quite, yeah, quite soft. So Hugh for birdie. I hear a little bobble. That's a great roll, though. <sighs> that is also good. It was a little bobble actually. <laughs> he has made a great attempt at that. Now Johnny with lob wedge as well for par. A long way left. That nearly got to halfway. Johnny now for bogey. That's short as well. Oh. 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 The wedge. So Hugh, you've decided you're gonna continue with the trend of taking clubs. Yeah. And so, so you taking my driver. Taking your driver. Okay. Surprise victory there. Yeah. But yeah. just as sickening as mine, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, 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 that that did hurt. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So to Hugh with two iron off the tee, long par five, which isn't in region two today. Anyway. Yeah, super shot. Johnny with three wood. Yeah, that's quite ah, good. Ah, very good, Johnny. Don't sound so surprised, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> so Johnny now. Hitting his layup distance, that is a little bit chunky. That was not the shot. Oh! <laughs> As you can see, conditions are worsening in Carton House. It's going to be a tough one in. Hugh now. Oh, beautiful shot. Has actually been able to go for it here. Oh my god. Oh, that was good. Oh, that, w that was good, yeah. <laughs> what, two feet for... Eagle. And he has stitched it. This is an example of a very, very good, important match play moment. I decided to lay up on this par five. Hugh went for it. It's a gimme eagle, to be honest, from here anyway. I need to get this close and make the putt to half the hole. Johnny with a perfect description on the state of play. He's got wedge in across the water. That looks good. Bit long. Hugh thinks it's long. C could be short. Sure. I think it's just plugged in the rough. In the short rough. Yeah. So Johnny was short, so he's playing his fourth from here with Hugh in close, and he's had a really, really good shot there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. So Hugh with this four eagle. Bear in mind he has no driver, no three wood, no putter. He is still putting for eagle with his lob wedge. And he has rolled that in. Four eagle. To go all square and crucially take a club out of Johnny's bag. Over to par 3, six, 16th. And Hugh is just beyond hold high. So good spot for him. Johnny now with his response. Looks to be long sure left. Yeah. Very long left. It'll be... It'll be a, be a long putt, though. That was a big wedge from Johnny. He is down to five wood now off the tee. He actually still has his three wood in the bag. Hugh took driver when he won the last and then proceeded to take his three wood. So Johnny now is down quite far away with his second. And Hugh, from about 30 feet, is a little bit short as well. I've seen him miss that. Uh, I've seen him miss that. I'm not. Uh, I'm not giving that. 
Johnny for par. And he's made it. Come on! Huge. Absolutely huge. Beauty. Thank you. What you he thinking? has gone one up again. So your driver's gone, your three wood's gone, your putter's gone. Um, what have you got iron with? You got two iron and then what? You got two and then Ah, uh, like four. six or something. I can't remember. <laughs> you being a little bit coy about what's left in the bag. Um, I'm going to take a two iron. If I'm hitting five wood on, in, off the tee on a par five, I'm putting you down to at least a four iron. I mean, I still don't stand a chance distance wise, so <laughs> like. So Johnny now, as he's lost driver and three wood and putter, ting off Straight, yeah. on 17 with his th five wood. Hugh has lost driver three wood, two iron and putter, is one down in the match. So he is playing a teed up five iron. Is that fairway? Yeah, I think you're okay, yeah. Nice shot. Both look to be in good spots, and they are. Johnny with five wood again. So this five wood is getting a bit of a workout today. It has played literally the last four shots for Johnny. Oh no. Pushed it out right. And that is a little bit right. Gorgeous views of the castle from the 17th here on the Amerik course. You pumps one down the left hand side. Oh uh, yeah, pushed it as well. Is that in the bunker? And has pushed it slightly right. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Uh, 96 yards to go. Johnny with wedge from 96. Conditions are awful here over the past four holes. It just has stopped raining now, just as the guys approach the green on 17. So Johnny playing his third. This could jump. And it has a little bit. It's a good shot. 20 feet for birdie for Johnny. Happy with that. We're on the green. It's all we need. Thank you. Looks like it's just over slope, so I'm gonna actually try and land it all the way. Usually I probably try and land it at the front and bounce it up, but looks like you know you have a good chance. I want to get it inside you and just have a good, good, good look. look at maybe hopefully a putt for a win. Plus I think it's the same yard as I had on the on our second hole and first hole, so well warmed up. Right, he's hit this wedge twice already, so he's expecting this to go close. Oh no. Oh no. That is huge. I like it, Hugh. It's way too clean. That was a mistake from Hugh. So relying on his wedge game to get up and down here. From the back of 17. That was really great. Really, really good touch. He's played a really, really nice one. <laughs> the knees went a little bit on that one. <laughs> I won't be giving that to you, but it was really good. Yes, thank you. So Johnny now for birdie. Hugh will have a five footer for par. So Johnny would really like this to get close. Oh, sit down. And he's outside. Oh, Johnny's still to go. This is battle golf. <laughs> this five wood is getting a serious workout today. It's played six out of the last five shots. Five out of the last six shots for Johnny. And he okay, is going to have to play another one. Because he has I missed that. So hole, Hugh yeah. is, has this four footer. Four par, two in the hole. He has been really, really good with this club. And the commentator's curse strikes again. Yeah, I'll give you that. We're not, we're not, we're not losing that <laughs> way. We're, we're silent, not, silent we're not for a long time. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Ooh, there was some. I'm, I'm one up going down the last. The good thing is I can't lose. So for, for me... <laughs> this all should be worth two, because we have even the last. Draw, even a draw is a win at this point. <laughs> yeah. The good thing is I can't lose. I've never heard that on the last tee. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last hole, play well here. Okay, play well. Johnny taking a slightly defeatist approach, saying he can't lose, but Johnny really wants to win this. So 18th on the Amira course. Johnny with five wood. Ooh, oh dear. Going. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. That uh, there's your that's your shot gone. So gone. Johnny did have a shot here and he's I have no I <laughs> don't know how it's there. I must have shanked that. 
Toe shank, I think, was it? It must have been a toe shank. No, it could have been heel. That went straight right. That hit a tree just right the tee box. Now, Hugh with five iron off the tee. You didn't want to do the same thing now. <laughs> just, Thanks, for, just for a bit of camaraderie, you didn't also want to hit the tree, though. No? Mm, I was thinking about it, I was thinking about it. So Johnny has actually caught a bit of a break here. He's only made it 50 yards off the yeah, tee. Yeah. Much better. It's into that tree, though. <laughs> Hits another tree. Loves the trees. Anything to say on this shot? Just don't hit the trees That's there. Really? Like they're in your eye line. <laughs> People don't think about them, but they're there. <laughs> Johnny's still trying to work out the trauma of his tee shot, and Hugh has hit this slightly left. On, cut. Needs it to cut in. That's a good shot. Pin high, 30 feet left. He's in a good spot. Okay. Tom's got a good shot of the tree there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting fucking brave now. <laughs> Johnny hits the one tree. The stress is, you can see the stress getting to Johnny here. <laughs> Johnny hits one tree. He's going to start swinging digs at his own team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still one up. So Johnny, after abusing his own cameraman and partner in the Bogeyman podcast, he has a six iron in. And oh, he has yeah. played one. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, that's a great shot. Oh, oh that's we're talking annoying. about trees now, are that's, they? Yeah, that's quite annoying, yeah. Great shot by Johnny Ian. So, this for a three and yours is for a net three. Yes. And you're one up. Yes. I was saying to Dave, I'd actually be delighted with this situation. This is... Like, uh, regardless of how the tee shot went. Like, like, yeah. You'd just be happy with this. This is one of these putts that could change my life. No comparison, the stress that I'm under right now is no comparison. <laughs> nah, this could change my life. I think I'm gonna, I can, I'm gonna give this a chance. Yeah. <laughs> if I win, can I have the West of Ireland trophy? <laughs> this is Hugh, four birdie on the last, really needs to get this. It's a really smooth stroke that with a wedge. Okay. I didn't want to be relying on a mistake from you, but that's, what it, that's where we're that's at where now. we're at now, isn't yeah. it? That's ultimately what it's come down to. It has come down to this. Johnny needs this. Four par. To win the match. And he has. He has. <laughs> Straight in for par. <laughs> Great game. Thanks very much. Thank you so good much. Win. That was such a good well game. Well done, Johnny. God, well done. What a game. That was a fantastic game. Another loss. Oh my for me god. Now. Two losses. It's two in a couple of weeks. I'm sorry, I don't want to compound that for you. Didn't do good for the confidence, but you were you were tired after the the. the I was wrecked. Everyone can see it. That's it's, it. it's on yeah. camera. Everyone yeah, can see we were talking about it for the entire round. <laughs> no, great, um, great, great par there. Great. Thank you very and, much. Uh, yeah. After that tee shot, I mean, like that yeah. was. You saw that par was coming off that tee shot. And you even birdied nine without the cameras filming, so I. Anyway, everyone sees how you hustled me there today. <laughs> yeah, the hustle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what do you make of the game, Battle Golf? You, you said you played it before. Yeah, I played it before, but we um, we gave clubs back, and uh, I like that, not not taking clubs back. And um, yeah, if you played over 18 holes, you God. definitely have to use a bit more skill and stuff. It's a good game. Well, if you're playing over 18 holes, you'd have to like kick the ball or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> which would be ridiculous. Um, so what's the rest of the season looking like for you? What's the next few events? Um, I've got uh, the Euro Nations in Sada Grande at the end of the month. Um, it's a four-man team event. And uh, a couple of scratch cups. And then the West of Ireland is the first one uh, in Easter. So I'm looking forward good. to that. Yeah. So look, we'll be tracking your progress throughout the year. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for playing. Delighted to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. It was good fun. Back in the winner's circle. <laughs> Folks, thank you so much for watching season two of Battle Golf. Turned out to be an awesome season. Both Dave and Johnny won one, lost one. Huge thanks to Brendan Walton, Paul McBride, Connor Purcell, and Hugh Foley. A huge thanks also to Carton House for hosting Battle Golf season two. We couldn't have asked for more from the team there. And we'll see you next time.